what I could have, what I had God saying clearly. You know, God will not speak to us, you know, you know, direct. But if we use his servants, he will use the word of God. Belibels have always repeat and repeat. The church is the hope of the world. The first time I heard that, I said, wow, what is he saying? But over and over again, I kept hearing it. The church is the hope of the world. Indeed, we are the hope of the world. The church is the hope of the world. We have the gospel. Despite the changing time, the gospel remains the same. Despite all that is happening all over the world, it still remains the good news. The church is the hope of the world. We are the one that can go any length to make sacrifice, love people, even when they hate us. We are the hope of the world. We are the ones that we still go into very critical, terrible areas, really venturing, you know, adventuring into areas that we might be slaughtered, we might be killed, you know. We are the hope of the world. We have to bring light into dark places. We have to bring hope to the hopeless. We are the one asked to go and feed the, the poor. We visit the prisoners. Say, I was in prison and you, you never visited me. I was without food, I was hungry. And that's what the world is crying for, hunger all over the place, war all over the place. We have to bring peace. Blessed are the peacemaker. So that's one message I've had and it has impacted me. It has changed my focus, changed my orientation. With the promises in the word of God, if you look through the word of God, you see that a lot of promises. I've never seen promises in any other religion like, you know, like in Christianity. So church is to take those promises to the world. It's promised us eternal life. It's promised us abundance. It's promised us to be with us always, even to the end of the ages. So all we need to do, present the promise, the promise renote and cash it. And you'll be better stead, good stead.